Sagittarius, hello, how are you? This is your November reading. Um, we're going to see what message we get for Sagittarius. If you've got Sagittarius anywhere in your astrology chart, you may well resonate with this message. Um, thank you for subscribing. Thanks for giving the video a thumbs up. It really helps it get out there across um, YouTube. And um, let's go into this energy for you. Let's see what we get. Okay, Sagittarius. Okay, two of Michael. It will be better if you just make a decision. Overanalyzing a problem, find a compromise. <laughs> this is the two of swords energy, okay? That is the two of swords. And, um, you know, it's basically like you have got a dilemma. <laughs> you are torn between two options. Um, I feel it's something to do with uh, a relationship with somebody um, or just like how you're interacting with um, your reality in general and that you're just looking at it and realising you need to interact with the physical reality differently. Or, you know, facing a dilemma about a relationship and what to do and just feeling really torn in two, okay? So let's see what else we're getting here. It does say about overanalyzing it. Overanalyzing this, overanalyzing your approach to life or overanalyzing this relationship and what you do about it isn't really going to help. Um, you've got the alchemy energy, which is very good. So that's that's going to be in your favour. Um, because it basically means that you're going to be able to um, alchemize the energy, right? Um, turn negatives into positives, um, transmute. So what they're saying is, that, you know, you don't need to overanalyze this situation <laughs> at all. Because it is literally through the energy that the work will be done and you have got the ability to do it because you are supported by these spiritual energies around you okay so we'll go a bit deeper to see more about what this is about brilliant so you've got the two of pentacles and it's like you've been trying to please too many people, spreading yourself too thin or like you've been trying to do. I feel like you've been trying to do both, you know, like you've been trying to do this, but you've also been trying to do that. Does that make sense? Like um, it's like. I'm really working on my spiritual development, but I'm still dabbling in certain things and I'm seeing, can I do both? Um, I'm, you know, I'm trying to be more boundaried with this person, but at the same time, I am sort of not being boundaried. So it's, it's like you've been trying to juggle both or, you know, just make everyone happy or, um, you know, just, yeah, spreading yourself too thin as well. So there's different things it can mean, but it feels like it's been quite exhausting. Um... Now, November's good because what you've got here is the Hermit card, right? Now, the Hermit means don't make any decisions because that's what's stressing you out. Uh, it's stressing you out because you're thinking, shit, like, what the hell am I going to do? You know, it's like you're putting all this pressure on yourself to feel a decision has to be made one way or the other. Like, I live this way of life or I live that way of life or... I, I have this person in my life or I don't have them in my life. And you're, you're just overanalyzing it way too much. Um, you And what Spirit is saying is, look, chill. Just chill because you don't actually have to make a decision. Hermit energy is all about not making decisions, okay? It's about reflection. It's about exploration. It's about 
shining the light of consciousness over this issue in your life. All right? And the light of consciousness is you when you are just in the observation mode from the higher self. Yeah. And that's, that's basically what they're saying all you need to do in November. So can you see how that's really taking the pressure off you? Okay. It's your ego that is overactive here and wanting to come to a decision or um, really analyse and analyse it and shut the ego down. You know, it's not who you are. You are spirit. Spirit is God. Yeah, spirit is source. And that's it. all you need to tap into in order for this to finally get resolved one way or the other is just the energy. And I know that that, that can screw with your heads because it screws with mine as well. <laughs> But, you know, you, you can freaking do this in uh, November. You can freaking do this. Um, look at how in similar actually the energies are. Look at that in the pictures. Look how similar that is. Um, now, he's shining the light of consciousness upon his life. And um, that is the energy of spirit there. And then as you do that, you are able to reach... The, the completion of it right because you've got the world and the world card doesn't come out that often so this is always a really important card when it comes through spirit saying look don't try to juggle everything don't try to force yourself to make decisions just keep observing what is going on observe where your ego is getting pulled into stress and drama observe where you're progressing spiritually um, observe the different energies that you feel, you know, like the, when, when it's the ego coming up with the, the stress and the anxiety, observe that. It's not you, it's just the ego. When you're new, more neutral and you're more conscious and you're just observing everything, just feel the energy of that. That's you. And choose to stay in that energy more. You know, don't worry about what's going on in your reality. Don't worry about this relationship. Don't worry about how you're living your life just choose to stay in the higher higher vibration and see if you can stabilize it and i feel that's what you're going to be doing and working on in november and as you do that it's going to lead you to a successful um realization and completion it's very good Now, Spirit Guide's very, very close to you in November, okay? Um, you've got the King of Cups, that's your Spirit Guide. It's very close to you, helping you with all of this. That's why that's why you're going to notice that you're more able to keep in the higher mind, the higher frequency of Spirit, and you're not going to keep dropping down into that sort of stressy, stressy place, the ego, because your Spirit Guide's are very close to help stabilise your energy. Through. you're going to notice your energy will start to stabilize more and more now also you could have a masculine energy person here who's spiritual and who's quite romantic or loving but this is someone who's emotionally supportive it could be a friend but this is somebody who's very emotionally supportive it doesn't have to be a man it could be any gender or sexuality but i'm just they're showing up with spiritual masculine energy somebody who is very emotionally caring um and you're much more able to attract this person uh, when you are in that higher energy. You bring out the best in them when you're in that higher energy. So that's why you don't need to worry about overanalyzing this or making decisions. Oh my God, look at this. I have seen the future with you. I want you by my side. Okay, so it's all about how you're interacting with your environment. Yes, primarily with this relationship, or maybe there's a couple of relationships where you need to stay in the higher mind and just the higher frequency is enough. You don't, this is what spirit is saying. You don't need to go into trying to fix things or how do I improve things? How do I fix things? Do I end it? Do I not? Just cut all of that out because it's just ego. Um, spirit is saying, yeah, when it comes to these certain relationships in your life in November, just holding a higher frequency energy is going to be enough for them to come closer that's all you've got to do i mean it really is that simple it's, it's crazy but that's what the cards are showing um but also it's not just about that it's about how you're interacting with the physical reality in general the matrix in general 
and it's, it's applying to that as well. Because as you're doing that, um, you know, that is also important, they're saying to me. Okay, um, so uh, we'll just see what your spirit guides are saying, because this is my consciousness deck that I need to work on. <laughs> and it's a message from your spirit guides to see what they're helping you with in November. I mean, we can see that they're trying to help you with staying conscious and in a higher frequency. They're helping you to turn away from the matrix. They're helping you to look inward, okay? And that's very good because that's exactly what I was just saying before I pulled this card, that it's not just to do how you perceive these relationships and how you interact with them and how you tend to overanalyze them or worry about what decisions you need to make. You know, you're forgetting about all of that in November, the next few weeks. What you're, think what you're really focusing on is just staying in a high vibration, no matter what these relationships are throwing at you. But like I said to you, it's not just to do with these relationships. It's actually to do with your environment and the matrix in general. That you, that you need to just start to just stay in the higher vibrations regardless of what it's doing and, and just try to ignore it. And that's exactly what the spirit guides are helping you with. Turn away from the matrix and look inwards. So you're going to be supported with this massively in November. Um, and honestly, uh, Sagittarius, you're going to notice a big shift here. A very big spiritual shift. Um, it's It's going to be very key for you. So that's the message. Um, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for giving the video a thumbs up. If you want to book in for a reading, uh, just, you know, just message me, okay? Um, sending you lots of love and peace across Gaia, wherever you are.